Hi everyone, I'm going to continue the series of the daily Daf Yomi. We are now on Masechet Baba Kama, actually in page number three, that is Daf Gimel respectively. We're talking all about different damages that can take place. We talked about yesterday, there's four different kinds of primary damages that could take place. Uh, in different scenarios in the Mishnah and then today we're talking about Shen. What is Shen today friends? It's let's just say the word Shen in Hebrew is translated as tooth. It's for example in the in the cases we're using in today's page inside the Gemara we are talking within regards to let's say for example an animal. An animal could do various different kinds of damages. There's a called Shen and there's also the Toldat of the Shen. Some that come from uh, the offsprings of this uh, thing. So say for example an animal let's say uh, whatever it might be, rubs himself on a specific wall of somebody else and damages it. Let's say he's doing it for just to make himself more relaxed or whatever it might be. Then that, if he does damages, is it going to be a tol that shen or shen? Is it going to be, does it come? What if he reveals himself on someone's uh, farm and where there's full of trees and fruits and all those different kinds of things? There's a difference if you get, the animal gets pleasure while it's doing it or if it doesn't. Let's say he dirties all these plants and everything else. There could be a chiluk where the, the animal itself gets pleasure from it or has to do it or not. So that's what it's discussing in today's page here. This is from a bookstore here in Bet Shemesh. I leave you all with a Shabbat Shalom of Rach and enjoy and take care.